Greetings, citizens, from Rolling Hills of the Bluegrass. You know, they say, never let the truth get in the way of a good story. And one thing that I find interesting is the idea of animals in captivity, especially the prey animals. They become unnerved whenever stared at for a long time. And it, it, it makes you think about this idea that they, they are hyper vigilant in their normal setting out in the real world. And they're always on the lookout because they're a prey animal. At any point in time, something can come out of the bushes, right? The tall grass and attempt to eat them. And it sets up this, this psychological cycle where they're constantly on guard, looking around, always trying. But when you deal with them in captivity, they have nowhere to run. They have nowhere to flee. So they're stuck in that psychological cycle all the time. And they can't get out of it. They can't find a way out. So any underlying stressors that they've had are amplified. You know, it's an exponent to it. It's put on a whole nother level. That it starts to break them down mentally. And in a way, since humans have been on top of the world for so long, we never really had that element except for in small instances when we could directly interact with people. But now that we have social media and we have this worldwide public forum that we can go out and stand in and spout off everything that we wish to say, we've locked ourselves out in the open. And for a lot of people, they cannot cope. Because they're stared at 24-7. 100% of your life is analyzed from top to bottom. And you can't get away. Because it's where everything happens now. This isn't your local market where, you know, if something happens, you can just go home and leave. No, no, no. It follows you there. It goes with you wherever you are. You can never leave it. And it starts to grate on you, starts to grind you down slowly until you have people just fragment and you see elements of them come out that they just they they don't have because it's a reaction it's a fight or flight or freeze element but there's no way to run away unless you just delete your social media accounts which is something that i advocate as quickly as you can if you fight there's a potential that you're going to dig yourself into an even bigger hole. And if you freeze, well, you're just a punching bag. And so it becomes a question of, well, what do you do? What, wh where, where do you go? Do you just stand there and let them stare at you? Let them hurl abuse? If it was a face-to-face -face confrontation, most people would be able to react in a fairly logical way. Well, if it's someone coming at me, I'm going to run. If it's someone coming at me and I can't run, I'm going to fight. If it's someone coming at me and I panic, I'm stuck. And so many have become invested in these social medias. Right, the Twitters, the Facebooks, 
the Instagrams and now in, in an instance TikToks that they almost feel unable to escape. They're hemmed in. Their enclosure keeps them in the eyes of the predator all the time. So they become hyper vigilant. And they lash out where they can. So what we need to do is escape the digital zoo. Get away. It's not worth it. At all. And then there are the other elements to it is that you are constantly tracked. You are constantly being analyzed for statistics and data and the metadata for the things that you like. And you're trying to be constantly sold to by these corporations. And so they've created these enclosures that we get thrown into and then they can sit and analyze and ooh, this person likes this and ooh, they like that. Oh, but they don't like this. So we won't send them any of that, but we'll send them more of this. And we just pump it in. Pump it in all the time. Just more and more. This person watched one fitness video. Well, we'll throw as many fitness videos as we can at them. Ooh, this person enjoys travel logs. We'll throw more travel logs at them. And we're only seeing the positives of these people's lives in these videos. But it's the quiet destruction that happens when the camera's not rolling, when the audio equipment isn't recording. That's their life. These little glimpses, these blips that we get in these 5, 10, 15, 20 minute videos. That's not their life. Their life is what's occurring in the other 23 hours of the day. That's their life. But we can't escape it. It feels like to many. That we're constantly put into these positions. But here is the thing. You have a choice. To disengage. With social media. And even if it's for a month. Just. You have no idea how freeing it is if you are that far gone into it, if you are constantly watching it. And this is one of the reasons why at times I have issues with communities or the word community. I don't mind people. I've, I've kind of self-diagnosed me as maybe a little misanthropic, but... I don't mind people, but I do need a place to retreat, to recharge. And if you're in social media constantly, you have no ability to do that. And you may not even realize that you're that far in. It's just become the new normal. Your new enclosure has some nice ferns in it. And it makes it feel like you're on the savannah. It makes you feel like you're in the jungle. But in the end, you're not. You're in a box. You're in a concrete box. Or a digital box. And you feel normal. But your current situation is anything but. <laughs>